name is Joseph Coutinho and I'd like to welcome you to my web series, Mix and Match to Make a Man. I'd like to tell you why I started this series. I'm still single. I do not have a girlfriend. So I decided to take this idea and have one gentleman and six girls and combine them so that I could learn how to become a better man. And hopefully all the gentlemen watching will become a better man. And part of that comes from being vulnerable. I think sometimes we go on dates and we leave the date and we don't know what the girl's thinking. And we wonder, could I have done something better? Did I do great? Did I slay it? We'll find out through this series on Mix and Match to Make a Man. Hi, my name is Joe, and I'd like to welcome you to Mix and Match to Make a Man. Today we're here at our first date, and I'm gonna let Mr. Luke Markham tell us what it is. All right, so today I have planned an epic meal. We are gonna be eating real fine and nice tonight. We got my buddy here, he's gonna be our waiter, and he's professionally trained, as you can tell. Professionally. Professionally. And so, we will be eating at the fanciest restaurant here in Rexburg, Idaho. There's so many places here to eat, and I picked the best, and we're gonna be eating as fancy as possible. And guess where that is? It's at McDonald's. What's your I'm name? Ellie. Ellie. Yes. Cool. Ellie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Ever done this before? No. no. Have you? <laughs> no. Oh, all, all the time, actually. Oh, okay. no. This is like my part time job, you know? I just, believe it. Just like <laughs> set up dinner tables at McDonald's. You know? yeah, That's what I, I do. It. That's what, it's, it's part of life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you want to okay. go through it? I don't know. I keep scrolling. Uh -huh. Oh, there's salads again. That's yes. I'll just get this one. That one, artisan grilled chicken sandwich. I don't know how you do this. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know what we do now. <laughs> or I think we order. So I have here from Mr. Monica. Thank you. Okay, well we should like write it down. This was when the two menus helped. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, I can remember this. You can remember that? I don't know, that's, that's quite a difficult thing to remember. I can remember, remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So your family, how many people are in your family? I have four younger siblings. Four younger siblings. Yes. You're the oldest. Yes, I'm the oldest. The oldest. Yes. There we go. Yeah. What about your family? I have three brothers. Three brothers? Oh, cool. Two older and one younger. Oh, so, so just kind of like the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> How many, do you have like the ratio of boys to girls? Or? Yeah, there's three girls and two boys. That is a big family. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's a large family. That's yeah. going to be real fun, though. Go it Mormons, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's totally good. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you like to do? Okay, what do I like to do? So, I really like skiing. I'm really looking forward to that. Cool. It's coming up, you know? Yeah, Except cool. like it snowed and then it went away and so now it's like, uh, <laughs> you need to snow more. <laughs> yes. Um, but I, I'm really into like anything that's athletic, so that's cool. running, biking, swimming. Cool. And all that stuff. Nice. <laughs> yeah. What about you? I don't know. Just anything. Yeah, I like to watch movies and sports. Movies and sports. What can I order? What can I take for your first course? 
Yours is the artisan something chicken. Yeah, the artisan grilled chicken sandwich. And can I get it without mayonnaise? So artisan grilled chicken salad? Sandwich. 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 Yeah. The salad was, uh, I think we both wanted the... Without mayo. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You said bacon ranch grilled chicken salad, right? That's, that's so. it. Bacon ranch, grilled chicken salad. Bacon, grilled chicken salad. And then, I said a quarter pounder with cheese. That one. Quarter pounder oh. with cheese. And then we need a dessert. Oh, we didn't ever pick oh, a dessert. Oh, we never did that. Uh, shakes? Like, desserts and shakes. Okay. Uh, do you want a shake or like a sundae? Mm -hmm. I'll get a chocolate shake. Chocolate shake? Yes. Chocolate shake, there we go. <laughs> I'll get the hot fudge sundae. Sounds good. Fudge. All right, cool. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I mean, end of the day, I don't know. Not really nervous, I was just kind of like curious, I guess, <laughs> what was going to happen. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I did, I know we had to like do a lot of conversations, so I did look up weird conversations really? for dates. Really? Okay, let's hear this. You want to hear weird yeah. conversations yeah, for dates? We were cracking up about it before, <laughs> and I, I was just like, why not? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go, ready? Okay. This one's very weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is cereal a soup? Why or why not? Is cereal a soup? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's cereal. It's a cereal, know. but it's a soup. <laughs> okay. Is yeah. it a soup though? I don't even know. Um, I learned that he's from Colorado. <laughs> he's funny. Um, he likes to play sports. Like very active, does a lot of things. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> TV show you're binge watching right now. Yeah. I always just rewatch Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls? Yes. I've never actually seen that. Is yeah. that good? I love it. I mean, it's I probably not something a boy would want to watch, but Gilmore yeah. Girls, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds pretty... Yeah. I don't know. It sounds great. Yeah, it <laughs> Gilmore is great, Girls. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like to watch? What do I like to watch? Yeah, what do you binge? Like, what have I binged? Yeah. What have I binged recently? I just binged The Office again. Oh, oh The Office like, is good. <laughs> it's just one that just keeps yeah. going up, you know? You can just watch this many times. It's, it's like <laughs> background noise at this point, you know, like yeah. you're cooking food, just throw the office just on, the you office know? On. Yes. It's just like, it's something that just is there. It's always a, a repeater. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It's <laughs> a good, good one though. <laughs> you ever watched the whole thing? Um, not the whole thing, but I've watched a lot of it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sequentially, all the way through. It's actually one series that I really enjoyed the ending. Really? Yeah. That's, I don't know a lot of people who enjoyed Mr. the ending. Mr. Man wearing and... <laughs> man wearing, <laughs> yeah. Cool. It's very good. <laughs> very good. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the Mr. The professionally made. Professionally Same. made. Professionally That's made. That's right. Made with love. <laughs> Lots of love. Alrighty. And here dessert. We go. We got a shake right here. Oh, thank you. And right here. Implementation. <laughs> I, uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> Feeling. I'm feeling real good after the date. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, what What did you like about him? He was very nice. He's good at keeping conversation. Um, what did you think about the date? <laughs> it was very different. Something I've never done before. It was a good date. Howdy. So tonight, Luke is going to be judged on how he acted as a gentleman, his date idea, how creative he may have been, and how he conversed with the lady. Hey, I'm Hugo Nightingale from Australia. I'm one of the Yoda judges. And I was particularly looking for gentleman attributes in your date. And so we'll start off hitting it strong, three-piece suit. Pretty solid. You don't see a lot of three-piece suits. A lot of people have suits, especially in Rexburg, church clothes. Then you bring out that, that third piece, 
I really kind of sealed the deal, you know, on the fancy on the fancy dinner. Uh, you stood up to greet Ellie, which was a good move. You even pretended to push in a chat. It was a booth. It was a McDonald's, but it was a nice little touch. Good little joke. I think it. I think it helped you relax. I think it helped Ellie relax just a little bit more because it could have been a little awkward. Uh, fancy dress at McDonald's, but I think you guys played it off pretty well. And you were very kind, uh, considered all times. So a couple times it looked like you were about to roast her, but then you rethought your comment and you made it and you turned it into a little light joke. Um, you were very gracious and you even, you let her look at the menu after you explained it. You, you let her decide everything that she really wanted to do happen in the date. And so I think overall, you did pretty well for a blind date for, for coming into it uh, without knowing too much about Ellie. I think it was a good date, not a fantastic date though. Hi, I'm Kennedy. I'm from Idaho Falls. Um, I'm judging the overall date idea. I think it was really creative, like something that not a lot of people would normally do. And like here in Rexburg, you have to kind of get creative with dates and just things to do in general. So I think it was like a bold move and overall fun. Yeah. I'm Natasha. I'm from Boise and I'm actually Ellie's roommate. Um, she said that she would not go on a second date with you. It was really awkward for her. Um, some of the jokes that you said, even though some of my friends are funny, Ellie did not. And does not understand that. Um, Ellie was just kind of, it, I don't know, she was just very awkward the whole time. And she felt, Ellie kind of felt like it was just very random that it was fancy dinner at McDonald's with a whole bunch of surrounded people staring and laughing <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, it was awkward for everyone, I think, but it was also very cool, so. <laughs> I give you props for doing McDonald's and trying to make it fancy. That's very awesome, but she Thank you for watching the first episode of Mix and Match to Make a Man. Right now, I'm going to tell you what I personally took away from this first date. Number one, I can definitely improve my date ideas. I think Luke went above and beyond with the fancy dinner at McDonald's, and I would like to apply that to myself. Number two, I would like to add more jokes into my dates um, as long as they're not super sarcastic. That's what I got. Hope you tune in next time. Next time on Mix and Match to Make a Man.